Right, what I also wanted to show you while I'm here is the um, photos and videos. So here's some photos I took while testing out the camera. We've got this sepia and black and white and you can have this negative, you can see there. And I can, as you can see, push the pictures up and just see them that way. I can click on album and I get a nice um, selection of photos. I can press on one. So let's have a look at the helicopter here. And there's my photo of helicopter. And I can use a zoom bar here on the right to zoom in. As you can see, it's five megapixel shot. Zooms in, and then I can just move around the photo just by dragging the image around like that. And you can see the resolution here. If I press back, let's choose another one. As you can see, it's kept the, if I flick the, picture around that way, does it that way, flick it around that way, it goes like that. So let's choose this picture I took of some of our son's toys. Again I can use the zoom bar, zoom in really quite sort of close and you can really see how powerful that uh, processor is there that's doing the graphics. It's very very smooth indeed. Just push it along We've also got, of course, the slideshow, which I can, you can see you've got the menu system there again. I can set albums as favourites, which means it stores all the images onto that particular part. So if you've got a storage card, set it as the favourite, and it will also show the storage card as default. Here's my slideshow. Struggles in low light, as you can see some of these pictures. We've also got... Um, uh, what else will we do? You can see if we go into options here, we can see the slideshow options that we've got available. Um, that zoom that we saw earlier that we've just seen, if I go into Internet Explorer, not Internet Explorer, if I go into Opera and I go into Twitter again because it's just the one that seems to be easiest to load it, if I zip it round, it uh, flips it round and also resizes it. You can see we've got this little last update here because we've got this push internet system that I mentioned. I can go through my favourites here. Scroll through my favourites. Let's go to um, Google. And it'll load up Google. Again, flick it round. And we can use the zoom bar. Zoom into Google. And zoom out again click on the uh, Google search and then we can get the QWERTY keyboard up like that. We can also flick it round whilst the QWERTY keyboard is open and we can use the QWERTY keyboard in a portrait style like that. Um, I like that because I like being able to use the keyboard in the landscape format. If we don't do anything for a short while you'll see the address bar disappear and you get to see the whole screen which is really good for when you're searching. So if I do a search for my favourite subject, Lager, and then press enter, it'll do a search for Lager on uh, Google, or rather it would if my network connection hadn't dropped, but you can see there it's made it full screen. I'm just going to try and swap my network connection. I'll just show you how easy it is to do that. Let's connect to this one instead. Okay, it's connected. Now we'll go back here and we'll just refresh that screen. And there we go. So we can use the zoom bar like this to zoom in like that. And I can have a look at this Foster's Lager, a great beer. Let's click on that. It's the link I want. Again, we've gone full screen, so we get as much of the screen as we can possibly use. And there's the Foster's website. Uh, we can flick the screen around like that. You can see it zooms in. And we can zoom in even further. G'day mate, are you over 18? Enter your date of birth. And we can change that so we can put in the date of birth. With the keyboard you have to hold down the keys. So you go 1, 9, hold down the keys for the numbers. 7, 8 for example. Log in. That's quite a complex website this. I've just picked this at random. I'm just showing you. 
that it can handle um, websites and it will display them as normal. I'm going to try and get the Foster's advert up. Let's click on ads and downloads and see what we can get. Watch our latest ad. I'm going to zoom in again. You can see how easy it is for me to load sites. So that didn't work because we haven't got flash, but uh, that's pretty good.